Hey, so if you guys didn't know, check this out. I started another channel called the Grilling TV Network, right? You can see Pat Neely, myself, and other great chefs on there, you know, cooking up some fire recipes and giving some real knowledge. So go by, check it out. The link will be down in the description box below. And guess what, folks? Enjoy the video. Country fried steak. Let's get it. Now, if you guys go ahead and look down here, listen, I'm not gonna do all of that talking. You guys, I'm gonna do a glance over over these ingredients. It might look like a lot, but it's not. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my beef cube steak, right? As you can see, I already bought it. It came like this already, right? Semi, I call that semi uh, tenderized, right? Now we using saran wrap. You don't wanna use this side, right? Since we're doing it this way. Now I'm gonna just take this. But this is what you're looking for, right? So now we peel this off or peel this back because we got to do four more. We do like this and there you have it, folks. Beef cube steak tenderized, but we're not done yet. Okay, so look, we got to put a little pre-thought into it, right? So now we're going to go ahead and take our buttermilk. We're going to add this here. Look, we're going to go ahead and put our two eggs in here. Okay, so after the eggs, look, I'm gonna give this three generous pinches of salt, right? Remember, we finna set up a marinade, right? So get your whisk, go ahead and incorporate. If you're really looking at it and paying attention to how I done it, I should have made that first, you know what I mean? But now that we got this tenderized, we'll just drop that in there like that. We're gonna get all of the meat in there, right? I'm gonna set this over here. And now we're getting ready to repeat. And the reason I set it up the way I did, because I want to reuse, you know, my, my saran wrap, right? Put this over the top. You guys got to adjust. And now we repeat. Okay, so then when you have it, you just want to go ahead and cover it with some saran wrap. We're going to put it in the refrigerator. Now listen, one to two hours is okay. You know what I mean? That'll get it a little bit on the tender side. If you can remember to do this the day before, like just put it in overnight, that'll do it. So let me put this in there. I'm only going to go a couple hours and we go from there. This right here is going to be my breading station. When you put them all, you measure everything, you put them like this, this just works, folks. I tasted it, let me just tell you, that got some seasoning in it, right? And then if you guys look over here, check this out. I always keep hot, soapy water at the ready, right? Why? Because I want to clean as I go, folks. And now would be a great time for you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 200 degrees. I've already taken out, you know, my cube steak. What I'm gonna do is just let it drip. You just want to get, you know, the excess off, right? That's good there. Now look, we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in just like this. You just lay it over the top. Your binder gonna make all of the flour stick and just push it down, you know what I mean? Just work with it. Hey, these are some, enjoy this because these don't get your hands dirty like the rest, right? Don't be scared of it. Get off as much as you can and then just go ahead and stage it on a rack, right? Okay, so if you come here, you can take a look at it. When you got your temperature right, they should look just like that, right? You wanna strain them, and then just go ahead and put them on this rack, you know what I mean? Just like that. Okay, so look, now that we done, look, I'm gonna go ahead and take myself three tablespoons of this frying oil, right? Now this right here was fire. I'm gonna go ahead and get this little half over there. That's all you gotta do. You wanna set that off to the side. Now, for the rest of this over here, look, we're gonna discard this. So, let me go ahead and get my container that I put my oil in, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now you wanna take, you know, your finished product, put it in your 200 degree preheated oven, and this is how we're gonna keep it warm, right? So now I've already discarded all of my grease, right? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with just melting our butter, right? I'm gonna add my oil next. Now I'm gonna start adding my flour. 
Now don't forget folks, the key thing is to just keep moving this around. You want to keep that wrist, your wrist going and this whisk moving. Now, what's key is we want to cook some of that flour taste out, right? It doesn't take long. Put that smile on my face, right? As soon as it hits the hot pan, it should just, the aromatic off of it should just be awesome. Now we got a little bit of our seasoning in here. Now we come with our broth. Now we'll go ahead and start adding a little bit of our milk. Now I put in just a little bit at a time because I want to incorporate it, right? The key is we got to keep it moving. Okay, so look, you want to bring it up to a like a semi boil, like what you see right here. Now I'm gonna reduce this down to a simmer, right? And then I'm gonna keep whisking. But what I'm looking for is a consistency that I like. However you guys want your gravy to be, that's what you want to do. And don't forget, folks, right here where you want to taste it to see if you want to go ahead and make any adjustments. Remember, you got to taste as you go. That way you can adjust. Okay, so you can see I got the gravy here. I don't have like a little gravy dish right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna pour it into my Pyrex. Here you go. I'll let you guys' uh, eyes and mind take over. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it here. Oh my goodness, folks. I'm gonna just put it in like that. Remember, it's all about that plating, right? I'm gonna take this one over here that I made like super crispy, put that over there like that. And guess what now? It's the money shot. Go ahead, cue that music, and let's go. All right, folks, it ain't nothing else left to do but to go ahead and taste it. But what I can tell you is if, listen, this is what puts us in the ballpark. If you went ahead and got your uh, your breading right and you seasoned it right, and then you had your oil up to temp, you put that in there, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be fire. We ain't gotta do all that. And then don't forget, we marinated. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna go in here and just get me some. Oh my goodness, look at how this cut. Really, okay, so you wanna know how it is? Look, I can just almost pull this apart like that. You know what I mean? This is right, right here. Now, take this. Give me a little bit of this, these mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? Got some gravy on there. <laughs> Guess what, folks? Cheers. Ooh. I don't even know what to say. This right here is it. Listen, so those of you guys that go out here and go to these, uh, cafes and places like that. You know, even some high-end restaurants got chicken, you know, got the uh, country fried steak. You know, as long as they got that gravy right, it's perfect. And like I said earlier, since we went ahead and did everything and we taste as we went, we knew this was gonna be together. It was really just about going ahead and cooking them, making sure we got to 165. By then, if you did 350 on your oil, that would have got you just right. You'd have got these colors. Again, I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to over talk it. What I want to do is I want to read your comments down the description, you know, down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna go back in here and get me some more. I'm out. Peace.